Morning, beautiful people. So, um, hopefully by now, and what you should have done really, is chosen your uh, level you're gonna work on, be it the orange, the green, or the advanced green. So, email that over to me so I know what you're working on, I can support you and help you and check on that as you go through it. Um, measurements, make sure you do them as well, and um, that's really key, and again, email them over to me, you beautiful people. Uh, and what will happen every two, three, four days, I'll put a video in here, and please watch it. Uh, I'm gonna kind of give you lots of video information rather than writing, because I think it's quite valuable that a four, five, six minute video, you can see what I'm saying, and hear what I'm saying, and try and help you with the tools that will help you. So to take six, seven minutes out of your life, two or three times a day, um, I think it's really important and it's valuable and you should value that to kind of help you if you want to progress and, and make changes in this month and you make the most of the group. Um, so food, first of all, <clears throat> so I'm not going to upload you and give you loads of different things all the time, there's loads of things in this group, but let's just try and focus on a few things first. So you've done your measurements, chosen your level. Uh, start attending sessions, start working your backsides off, that's really important as well and, and try to your, to your utmost and your best and don't be judged by anyone else in your group, it's irrelevant. Everyone's at uh, the boot camp for different reasons, it's inclusive and you're there to work as hard as you can. Uh, let's have a look, so what we're doing, so really what I need you to do now is the following. Um, Saturday, coming forward, this first Saturday, what I'd like you to do is upload your first weekly tracker. Um, and hopefully you can start, it might have been yesterday or today or by Thursday or Friday, it doesn't matter, but every Saturday send me a weekly tracker and that's just to kind of give me an idea of when you started from and how you're getting on. And there's actually, if you look through the actual group, excuse me, there's an um, uh, actual, um, excuse me, a template which I've made out there for you, so it's a basically a kind of a, a sample of what to write down. So we're looking at food first of all, um, and this is the most important thing because obviously you know people really worry about food and are not too sure about food and, and, and the education about food can be really misleading and quite detrimental at times. Let me make something really clear, if you're trying to um, add weight or lose weight, you need to eat. Um, let's be f really crude here, food is fuel, we enjoy it, it's more than that, but it's fuel. Without it, you, your body doesn't operate properly. And the whole idea of this program, by the end of the four weeks, your body will be functioning better to help you get results. That's what it's about. So, you need to eat. That is the most important thing. You definitely, definitely need to eat. But it's what we put in our bodies. And again, depending on what you've done, um, what, what level you're choosing, it will depend on how much you put in and also the quality that you put in as well. So, these are what you need to try and do. First of all, if you're on an orange level, you have to be conscious of food. So, for example, that's why I recommend massively go to the website, look at the recipes, and as much as possible, cook and use them. They're clean and healthy. Clean food, what is it? Basically, if it flies, it swims, it walks, it runs, it grows, and you can pick it, it's clean food. <clears throat> it's, it's a bit more complex than that, but the, the, we, we try and make it quite simple here. Um, so you're looking for good, natural, clean food, and the best way to do that is cook things that you, yourself, uh, are putting into your, your meals and your love, and you know where it comes from, and you know it's as clean as possible. If it goes ding in a microwave, if it's uh, basically got a, uh, um, a, a, a kind of a sell-by date on there, which is like months and months and months in advance, it's, it's got stuff in there, I call it shit, sorry to be rude, but it is, that is basically making it and maintaining it and it's not food. There's something in there which isn't natural and we're trying to keep it as natural as we can. So things like, for example, I used an example before, the outside of a shopping, um, uh, kind of a, a Tesco's or a Morrison's or a supermarket, an outside of a supermarket is usually the best aisle to describe clean food because predominantly what we have is there are the fish, the meats, the dairies, the creams, the nuts, the veggies, the, the, the fruit, that's what it will have and the whole grains and that's what you need. They're natural substances, natural sources of food and that's what you need in your diet as much as possible. So if you're on the orange level, um, you, you can track it obviously like you see, it shows you what to do, it tells you what to do, so you're trying to be more conscious, you're trying to reduce treats, reduce snacks, have a few obviously, but you're now trying to uh, increase the goodness you put into your body. So with every meal you make, you're trying to now include oats, include greens, include fr fresh fruits and, and veggies and, and, and seeds uh, and nuts and uh, meats and things like that, so good substances. So start to be conscious of what you eat and just start to write it down, okay? Not literally be absolutely to the level with it, but just be honest with it. If you're trying to make a change for a month, if you're trying to educate and, re and reshape your lifestyle, and just be conscious of it. Because when you write something down, it's a bit like a diary, you then have something, you have something to kind of, some accountability and you know what you're eating, because you need to know what you're putting in your body. 
uh, and then how you respond to that and how you react to that. So that's really important. If you're on the green or the uh, advanced green, you should track the amount of food you're eating. The best way and the only way is by using a tracker. My Fitness Pal is the best one around. I think there's others. Uh, and actually here on the link that you can just download My Fitness Pal. It's free and it's really simple to use. You can type in the foods you eat or just scan them with your code uh, on your phone. And what it will do, it will just basically start to kind of sum up the amount of calories you're eating and also the amount of carbs and fats and what have you. Don't worry too much on the pie chart about how many carbs and how many fats and things like that. Don't worry too much on that. But what I would like you to do is just track how many calories you're eating per day. <clears throat> it's really important because when people say, I want to lose weight, I want to gain weight, and I go, okay, what you eat? We don't know what we eat. We're a bit secret eater. We kind of we, we don't talk about or we forget about the extra biscuit. And also, how many calories you're eating? The average calorie, again, it's a guideline. I'm not massive fans of numbers and guidelines, but they say around... 1500 to 2000 for a woman and 2000 2500 for, for a man but that's an average and that's a generic he says um everyone's different so for example i eat around 3000 to 3500 a day uh, on, on good days and to be fair so i would be if i went to the doctors and told them that and did my bmi they'd probably tell me i'm a beast i'm overweight um without being arrogant here i weigh just under 14 stone uh, i'm six foot just under um, i'm six foot just and uh and i've got a body fat percentage a fat percentage of around i, I stick around 15 percent. so actually i'm not in a really good nick for myself uh, for, for what i'm doing um but on a scale on a chart I, i'll be seen as a beast so don't worry about that but I need to know how much I'm eating and I need to fuel my body massively because I train really hard uh, and I train in a way that allows me to burn fat so my metabolic rate is working on point all the time and I also increase lean muscle mass. So that's for me personally. So let's just get this right first of all. Food is fuel and it's important. You can actually eat more as long as it's good and lose weight because your body is functioning properly. If you put good foods in it, guess what? Your body can burn it, use it or get rid of it brilliant if you give it lots of crap it just stores it so i could eat 3,000 calories of some good clean food and let's say 2,700 of them are really clean uh, and i would function better lose more fat and actually probably build more lean muscle mass and someone who ate say 16,000 i'm sorry 1,600 1,700 so less calories but if it was all crap and chips and biscuits and things they're more likely to slow down the metabolic rate and actually put on weight See what I'm saying? So it's about what you put in your body. Food is fuel. We need to understand what we're eating. So start thinking about eating clean. Clean to start with can be the outside of a, of a, a supermarket. And also if you're not sure about that, use our recipes. They're all clean, uh, nutritious, healthy, and really taste nice. And they're not kale. Honestly, there's some kale in there, but it's nice foods you will enjoy. So start to look to cook and eat as well. If you've been a bit more advanced on the green and the advanced green, you need to start tracking your calories. Uh, you download the app, you use it um, daily to try and track how many calories you're having. And then with that, if you're feeling sluggish, if you're feeling tired, you might be under eating. If you feel bloated and heavy, you might be overeating. But guess what? You'll know then, and then we can help reduce that or up that to help you get your body functioning properly. Eat clean, eat food, eat good food, track and write what you're eating and go from there. Make sense? If it doesn't, I'm here to help you the whole of the way. Uh, make sure you've got your measurements done, make sure you're attending sessions, make sure you've got your tracker, as in your fitness pal if you're doing the green, the advanced green, and make sure you send over the details I need. Start eating, start cooking, start being conscious of things, ask away at any point, I'm here to help. There'll be lots more information coming in here, little bits at a time, and like I said, the whole idea of this is by the end of the four weeks, if you keep those four or five things monitoring them, working on them, making changes with them, guess what? It will make your function, your body better, and you will get the results you need. It's not a quick fix, but in four weeks, you can do hell of a lot. Like I said, people on this program have lost six, seven, eight, nine inches, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pounds. They still enjoy their life. They still haven't made massive changes. It hasn't been like a complete um, pain in the backside. They've still in glass, enjoyed a glass of wine and what have you and stuff like that. So they've just changed their lifestyle slightly in four or five key areas. Your body functions better. You get the results you want and feel better.